Hello! To celebrate the new Annie movie coming out on DVD, the people behind the movie have challenged me to make something fun and colourful for your backpack because Annie likes bright and cheerful, doesn't she, in decorating all the things she's got. So we're going to have a go today at making one of these zipper pulls. Now the great thing about this zipper pull is it's really easy to make. Hopefully you'll have a lot of the materials at home already and also these zipper pulls make a great um, present so you can use them as zipper pulls, as key rings, um, as like door decorations and they're just fun and colourful and quirky. What you will need is some wool, you will need um, something like baker's twine uh, or similar, it's just that this is stronger than wool and if you have um, a pom-pom maker if you don't have a pom-pom maker don't worry i'm going to share a link below this video which shows you how to make um, pom-poms without a pom-pom maker and you'll also need some beads and of course a key ring now if you don't have a key ring handy like this you can uh, just tie it straight to your backpack or add it to uh, a, you know one that you've got ready i basically just took an old one of mine apart and use this so to begin with let's make a pom-pom i'm going to make an orange one first when you have a, one of these pom-pom makers they're really good they're really easy to use but you can make pom-poms using forks your fingers or two pieces of cardboard but i'm going to show you how to use one of these today so you, you pull it apart like this and then you wrap around your wall now when you're making using one of these pom-pom makers the important thing is basically not to cover these two plastic bits just to wrap it all the way around but without you know getting into that bit and you make it nice and thick and you try and go right into the corners if you can there we go this is nice thick wool so it's a little bit quicker to make there we go so you've done one side i'll show you all round so like that shut it and then use your scissors to snip it off. Now I'm using a little pair of um, nail scissors here that I've bought especially for crafting. Don't use the nail scissors you use for your fingers because then they'll go blunt. So if you, like me, craft a lot, it's really worth buying, you know, not a too expensive pair of nail scissors just from the uh, pharmacy. I think mine only cost about three or four pounds and they come in so handy for crafts like this. So now I'm doing the second half of my pom-pom. this you can see I've been all the way around I think it's quite full let's close it all the way around like that so now I'm ready to start cutting so this is where the nail scissors come in super handy because you can really get to your pom-pom wall and snip away quite easily like that so you need to snip all the way around and make sure there's no no little bits left all the way around to the other side. These pompom makers are so great. They make life so much easier. I never thought I'd say this, but I used to always be a two pieces of cardboard kind of girl, but these are so quick and easy. So I've cut all the way around. Now I take a bit of wool to secure it. So this is the traditional way of securing your pompom, -pom, but I'm gonna add a bit of baker's twine in a minute. And that's because when you've got zipper pulls or key rings, basically they need to be really durable. And I think wool, because I've done two knots, I don't know if you saw that, one, two. Um, but the thing is, normal wool like this can rip or tear. So if you've got a key ring and you're using normal wool, um, it could be that it won't last very long. So I've got my normal pom pom, and now I'm quickly going to add a bit of baker's twine. Make it nice and long, because then you've got more flexibility when it comes to arranging your, pump, your um, key ring at the end. Tight, really tight and then tie it again so it doesn't come undone really tight now this Pecos twine I have is actually quite thick I've got different types of it some of it's a bit thinner and you, if you've got a thinner one great because then it's going to be easier to add your beads so there you've got your pom-pom now I've made one already here and um, I'm going to make a tassel in a minute and show you how to do that but what you now want to do when you've done your pom-pom is just give it like a little trim just to even it out because there's always a few bits sticking out. Or if you kind of love, like this sort of rough and ready look, you can just leave it the way it is. It doesn't really matter, but you can easily give it a little trim at the end. Or you can trim it after you've finished your key ring if you decide that it needs changing. So that's my two pom-poms ready. Now let's make a tassel. So again, you take your wool. So I've got yellow this time, nice and cheerful. 
I'm going to take a bit of Baker's twine again. Uh, okay, so this is going to be for hanging. So now I'm just going to put this across my fingers because that's going to be the bit where I hang the tassel up and then you just wrap the wall around your hand. It's a little bit fiddly. Make sure you always get the, um, the Baker's twine as well. There we go, it's going a bit fiddly, isn't it? La, la, la. Bit of tassel. Just looks fiddly, it's actually quite easy. Like that. Wrap it round. Have to keep unwrapping as I go. There we go. And it's up to you really how thick or how thin you want the tassel to be. I quite them quite like them quite thick. Can you see? So I don't know if I went off camera there a little bit. It's quite easy to do when you've got such a big ball of wool. Apologise if I did. There we go. Nice. I think that's probably good enough for me. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to gently pull this together at the top. And tie a knot. You don't have to tie a knot, but it does. I think it does help. There we go. And then you get another piece of wool. I use the same colour, but actually you could use contrasting baker's twine because with tassels you can just experiment and also you can add beads to a tassel if you want to. So I'm just going to make the little bobbly bit at the top by just tying a little bit of wool around like that. And then I'm going to tie it like that. And now you need to open up the bottom. And again, your little scissors, just give it a little tug as you cut. And then you've got a cute little tassel. And you can arrange them all a little bit now. Just make sure they're all the same length. And that's how easy it is to make a tassel and some pom-poms. So you're almost there. Now comes the fun bit. Now you get to choose some beads. Now as you can see here, I didn't actually use that many beads. So you know, I used three on this one, none on this one, three on that one. So really you don't need too many. And also I've got some really nice bright um, wooden ones here, but you can use anything really. Um, you can use pony beads. I'm going to cut this the same length actually, because then it's easier to th thread. You can use pony beads. You can use um, hammer beads if you have, if your thread's thin enough. Come on, here you go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you another trick. I've got a bit of tape here. If you add tape to the end of your your twine, then it's a lot easier to thread through. Because it's a bit like a shoelace there, look. Here we go. Look, it's much easier, isn't it? So I'm going to take one of those. I think it's quite nice to use different sizes if you can. Like that. You see with the tape that was much easier, wasn't it? And then I think I'm happy with that one actually. I'm going to tie a little knot at the top because that's where I want the key ring to sit. Yeah, and I'm going to open this up again. Like that. Get my key ring. Tie it round a little knot. These are all just very simple knots like that, tie it round like that, and there you have, make sure it's really tight actually, tight, 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 there you have your first part of your zipper pull already. In fact, I think it looks quite sweet just like that. So anyway, so you carry on and you repeat with the other ones, different lengths and different beads, until you have your very own super colourful backpack zipper pull. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and we hope to see you again soon on Red Tether Art. Bye!